Hey, this is Lorena and I wanted to do kind of like a review on wool mats. All right, do you really need it? Uh, I don't know, but I'm gonna find out if I really need it. I ended up buying two and I ended up buying one on Amazon because I wanted to know if there was a difference in quality. I don't know, I thought it would be cheaper, but I also bought one at a quilt store. I bought this one, it's a 13, and a half by 13 and a half pressing sheet. It's from a company called Kenley. I got it at Amazon, I'll link it below. I ended up paying probably $27 for it. I believe it's about an inch and a half in width. So it's a pretty thick mat. They also state that the fabric will not shift on you on this mat when you're ironing it. Whatever fabric it is, it'll stay in place. They also say that uh, the natural fiber preserves the heat and, and as well as allowing the top and bottom of the fabric to heat simultaneously. They use the word simultaneously. Can you imagine? All at once. This is 100% wool. Now I also got one at Cactus Queen's quilt store. It's on McKinney and I love the people that work there. They're just such neat people. Theirs is 100% felt wool. It says it retains heat and it presses on both sides and you can use with iron, with steam or no steam. And this is a 12 inch by 12 inch and I also think that it's not a half inch. It's maybe three eighths thick. I don't think it's a half inch. It doesn't feel as thick as the other one. Now, of course, since I'm doing a comparison, I'm just gonna use my regular ironing mat. It's a self-made mat. It's not fancy like this wool stuff. Let's see if the mat really makes the difference, all right? Now, I wanna just give like a little side note. If you're allergic to wool, don't buy it. You'd be itchy and stuff, you know. I have a friend of mine, she's allergic to wool, so this would not be for you. But if you don't have allergies or anything, it, it, you'll be all right. So I got two quilt blocks here that I'm just crushing the bejesus out of. Crushing a quilt block to see if the wool mats make a significant difference in comparison to a regular mat that I personally use on a daily basis because I love it. Okay, so yeah. So here's my crushed up uh, quilt block that I'm going to open. And it said steam or no steam. It doesn't allow the block to move at all. Look how you see the block kind of sitting in and it crisp it up real pretty. So it does get wet from the steam and it has a weird, it has a smell to it, okay? It has a wool smell to it. It seemed like it pressed deeper into the fiber. It smells like sheep. Oh, <laughs> and there's not that much water underneath. I don't feel that much moisture. And to be honest, it seemed like it pressed deeper into the fiber. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, like this is the side where I'm using this mat. You could tell that the ironing is cleaner than you can still see some wrinkles on this map. Which one I like the best. I think they're both great mats. They both do what they say. You don't, you can't shift the fabric. They do heat on both sides simultaneously, however they say it. Both, when you're pressing with a lot of steam, the steam does go through both mats after a period of time. But let me just share something that I found kind of a con. These wool mats have a smell to them. They smell. They smell like wool. Um, and when they're wet, they smell more. Like when you're steaming on them, there's more of a scent to them. Now, the one I bought at the quilt store, I like the way it pressed. It pressed crisper. It seemed like I didn't have to iron as much on this one. But this had a more pungent smell when it was wet. You could really smell it. Now, they're both exactly the same price. I paid about $27 and change 
but I really do like the Amazon one because it's thicker. You have more space to press. It's thicker in comparison to this one and it doesn't have as much of a smell comparison to this one. Now maybe I wouldn't even noticed it if I would have just bought one mat, but because I'm doing this, Ooh, Lord, you can really tell this one has some smell, but they're both great. All right, now we're going to do it on the mat. This mat has a, a layer of fusible interfacing, a thermal flex heat absorber, and a layer of batting and fabric. It is a block of wood, so whatever you iron, the water doesn't or the steam doesn't go through. It goes on this wood. It is also removable, and you can wash it. And this is why I love this mat. It's nice and sturdy piece of material. This is my mat and this is what we're gonna do the review on this compared to the wool. And so I'm gonna show some clips of me going ahead and ironing the center of the block using my mat. And then we're gonna go and you show some clips on how I ironed on the wool one side and I also ironed on the opposite side. Now as I was ironing the wool on the opposite side, I noticed that the wool, when I ironed it with the wool mat, it did crisp up the fabric a little bit better than my personal mat. It ironed it really nice in comparison to my regular useful mat. When you steam on a wool mat, it goes through and on my, it doesn't do that. So I kind of like my own mat more. I would probably prefer it more unless I could put a block of wood underneath the wool mats. Um, but I like the way the fibers get crispier. Now another con on the wool mats. I was smelling my quilt blocks. They smell like the smell of this wool. The, the, the My blocks now smell like this material. And with my mat, it doesn't have a smell. <laughs> if you don't have a mat that you really love, like I love mine, I would buy a wool one and try it out. But I... I think I'm gonna stay with mine and probably use these when I go out to quilts, um, classes and stuff cause they're lighter to travel with. So yeah, I really do thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.